This video is a complete instruction guide on fuel delivery system main components. My name is Frank Tonin, I'm Director of Product Training at Spectra Premium. To relieve the fuel pressure, install the pressure gauge to the service port. Relieve the fuel pressure and put the fuel into an approved container. Disconnect the negative battery terminal. Safely lift and support the vehicle to perform fuel tank removal. Disconnect the fuel filler neck and vent hose. Drain the fuel tank into an approved container. Properly support the fuel tank. Remove the two straps holding the fuel tank. Slightly lower the fuel tank to access the pump, electrical connector and hoses. Disconnect the evaporative emission hose. Inspect the fuel tank straps and replace as necessary. Clean the top portion of the fuel tank to prevent fuel tank contamination. Remove the lock ring from the fuel tank and remove the fuel pump. Be careful, as the pump bowl will be full of fuel. Inspect the fuel tank for rust or contamination. Replace as necessary. This filler neck comes in two separate sections. Remove the filler neck and inspect for any holes or corrosion. Replace the filler neck as needed. Remove the three screws holding the filler neck to the body of the vehicle. If the rubber hoses are good, transfer the hoses to the new filler neck. Position the new filler neck and tighten the three bolts holding the filler neck to the body. Make sure to properly tighten the ground strap. Carefully read all the instructions before proceeding with the installation. Carefully install the float arm to the module as mentioned in the special instructions. Lubricate the seal and install the fuel pump to the new fuel tank. The module top cover is equipped with an index, which should fit properly at the exact position. Install the new lock ring, making sure the opening is at the index. If a new fuel tank is installed, transfer the evaporative valve. Remove the old quick connect retainer clips from the module and install to the new pump. The fuel pump comes with a new improved electrical connector. Install the connector to the vehicle harness. Carefully follow the instructions found in the box.
Lift the fuel tank high enough to connect the evaporative emission valve hose. Remove the electrical connector safety lock before installation. Connect the connector to the fuel pump and reinstall the safety lock. When installing the fuel lines, make sure you hear a good click, making sure the fuel line is well connected. Lift the fuel tank high enough to connect the filler neck and vent hose. Now position the fuel tank and attach the two straps to the frame. Install a new filter to ensure fuel pump longevity. Fill the tank halfway with clean fuel to ensure proper pump priming. Reconnect the negative battery cable terminal. Before starting the vehicle, prime the fuel system by cycling the ignition switch several times. With the fuel system now under pressure, perform an undercar visual inspection for leaks.